in the fourth question there is some data of a vehicle and a student fitted a curve for the vehicle speed x so this is our variable x and its fuel economy mileage in kilometer per liter as f of x so it's a function of x and this function is given in this way and we are going to use it for y which means if we reduce it to the standard form we will get y is equal to f of x which is 88 by 40 x minus x square by 40 plus 1200 by 40 is 30. So we have the situation where a the coefficient of x square is minus 1 by 40 which is equal to minus 0 0.02 5 and b is the quotient of x which is 88 by 40 and that is 22 by 10 therefore 2.2 .2. and lastly c is equal to 30. Now we may observe that the x square coefficient is negative so this is a downturn parabola which is why they are asking what is the maximum economy so at the vertex you will get the maximum fuel economy so we need to find the vertex and we know that the vertex is at x is equal to minus b by 2a which in our case is then minus 2.2 by 2 times minus 0 0.025. This is probably better done in fractions. So, if we write it down in fractions, we have minus b is minus 88 by 40, and this will be 1 by 2 into 1 by 2, and uh, 1 by a is then minus 40 itself because a is minus 1 by 40. So we have the 40 and the 40 cancelling off and minus and minus become plus 2 and 88 will give us 44. So we have the vertex that is we get the maximum fuel economy at a speed of 44 kilometer per hour. And what is the maximum economy at this particular speed that we can calculate from our equation directly? We have f of 44 is equal to 88 by 40 into 44 minus 44 the whole square so 44 into 44 divided by 40 plus 30 so this is 4 tens and 4 elevens this is also 4 tens and 4 elevens and we get 96.8 minus 48.4 plus 30 which is then further equal to 96.8 is 2 times 48.4 so you will get 48.4 plus 30 giving us 78.4 kilometer per liter so we can say that this is our maximum fuel economy which is arrived at which is achieved at this particular speed.